Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick little video um, over the Madison shoulder bags. So I do have three of them in my collection. I have like the quilted white one, I have the one with the Mickey print on it, and the little green suede one. And I'm not gonna do like a massive like review video over these bags. I'm just gonna do more like a chit chat video, show you some of the details and stuff and what my thoughts are throughout the video. Um, so if you want like a specific review on any of these bags, just leave a comment down below and I can definitely work on that for you. So yeah, if you want to watch this video, do stay tuned. Okay, and just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. However, all the bags here on my channel are from my own personal collection and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, do you consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag photos. Okay, so the first bag I want to talk about um, for this video is this one here, which is um, the first Madison shoulder bag that I got. And this one is in the quilted leather. And it's like a smooth, like, I think this is Napa lambskin. Um, so it's really soft to the touch and it's also very puffy too, as you can see, um, as I like press down on the quilts, it kind of leaves like a little indentation. That's how like puffy they are. Um, and then you can kind of see too how raised the leather is as well. And it is like throughout the bag. So it's on the front, the back, and even the bottom as well. Um, this like dramatic puffy quilted detail. So getting inside the bag is pretty easy. All you have to do is just do the little turn lock right here. And it is like a C turn lock, so it is pretty. And then um, it just has one large open compartment here, the back wall pocket, and then your story patch is attached to the zipper pocket as well. And in here, all I have right now is just the um, care instructions to the bag and also the price tag. And then on top, you'll see that it does have um, the grommets for the chain to like pull through and then on this front pocket here is like the second flap so for this bag I kind of say it has like like a double flap situation because you have like the one flap for the main compartment and then a second flap for the extra two pockets so you have a front pocket here and then also a larger compartment here as well so um they are individual compartments and it is divided by this um, microfiber panel with a leather piece on top. So yeah, that's the inside of the bag. Okay, and then here's the back of the bag. It has a little slip pocket here and it is also lined in that microfiber um, material and it does um, hold my phone. So here's my phone case because I'm using my phone to film and it does fit really easily back here and I do actually use this um, to hold my phone like all the time. Okay, so after I got the um, quilted Madison shoulder bag, I ended up getting this bag here. And this bag is really pretty because it is like in the mixed materials. So it does have suede, um, pebbled leather, and also smooth leather as well. And it is in a really pretty brass hardware again. Um, personally, for my style, I usually wear gold jewelry a lot. So I always just go for brass hardware. Um, so yeah. And it's super cute too because it also still has that little C turn lock in the center. And then the layout for this bag is a little bit different. Um, it is more compact and a little bit smaller. So the bag still opens with a you know turn lock here on the front. Um, but on the inside it is just one large compartment like so. And you don't get a zip pocket but you get a little slip pocket back here. And then I just have the care instructions and the price tag back here. And then on this side you do get um some card slots so you get I think three so it is pretty nice that um you can just put your cards in here and not have to deal with like a, another SLG since this bag is pretty small and then you also get a front pocket here as well and it is in that suede material so yeah that's the layout for this bag and then you still do get a back pocket with this bag as well um so it is gonna be lined in like the microfiber material and I do still actually put my phone back here sometimes, so it won't obviously fit like horizontally. But what I'll do is just like stick it in vertically, um, like temporarily, just to like have my hands free for a moment. Um, and I'll just do that to um, house my phone back here really fast. 
Okay, so the last bag I have is this one here, which is from the newer collection. It's Mickey and Keith Haring. So this one has a large, you know, artwork of Mickey Mouse on it, and it's tri-colored too. So it's black, white with um, a splash of red, which I think is really cool. Um, it gives the bag a very like graphic look, I think. Um, and then again, also is in the brass hardware, and this one just has a regular turn lock in the center instead of the C turn lock. Inside this bag, it is pretty much the same layout as the first bag I showed you. Um, it has just the large center compartment like so. Um, it has a little zip pocket here with a story patch and then a slip pocket as well in the back. And then um, it does have like that double flap look. So here you get your larger um, compartment like so. And then you also do get your slip pocket as well. And this one's cool because um, as you can see, this one has like a gusset that expands a little bit and it has um, white leather underneath this piece um, right here versus this one um, because it is in that quilted design I think coach just decided to close it off um, with this like leather binding so as you can see this bag like for the larger one here it doesn't expand it's just like one thing if that makes sense okay so here are the three bags next to each other so I have the quilted white one in the back and then this one is the Disney one and then this one is the tiny little green one. So, um, personally for me, I feel like these two right here are actually very similar to each other, um, in, like, size capacity. This one obviously fits a little bit more, and it holds larger SLGs, but, um, for me, when it comes to my particular lifestyle, I feel like they hold about the same amount of stuff. And then this is totally for, like, um, entertainment value but um, if you were curious if the little green mask and shoulder bag fits in here it totally does so as you can see I did stick the little um, green shoulder bag in here and it sure does fit so yeah there's that okay so my final thoughts on the mask and shoulder bags is that I do like them a lot um, I feel like this is the one I use the most of the three it's just a really easy bag to use I feel like it's really easy to style and it's not a very, like, it's not a bag I have to baby either. I feel like for a lot of people, it is, like, two things they're very afraid of. It's smooth leather and it's white. Um, but for me, I am pretty casual with it. Like, um, for example, I would, if I need to leave the house and go on, like, a Target run or something, I would just wear this with a pair of jeans in this bag. It looks super chic, I feel like. Um, and so you can see on the back, I have worn those with denim and stuff and darker colored clothing and there has been no color transfer on the back and even like on the corners. So yeah, I feel like that's pretty good. So yeah, that's for this one. Okay. And then when it comes to like these two bags, I feel like I use them pretty much like the same great. Um, I use this one a lot when I first got it. Like I probably stayed in it for like a week because I am like a small bag person. Um... And I don't know, it's just like super cute and tiny. And I love like the green and brass combination together. This one I actually use a lot more than I anticipated just because, you know, it is like a Mickey Mouse on a bag. Um, but I really like it. It actually goes a lot more stuff than I thought because it is such like an intention getting bag is that anything you wear that is super basic will look really cute with it, if that makes sense. So. I feel like these two I use the same amount, but um, this one I for sure use the most. Okay, so that does it for today's video over the Madison shoulder bags. Um, if you guys have any other like additional questions about these bags, just leave it down in the comments below and I can try to help you out or you can message me on Instagram too. And then um, if you guys want me to do like a specific video on like each of these bags, just leave a comment down below, um, like just requesting a review. And then depending on the popularity or like the one that gets the most likes, I will just do that one first and then the rest later on. Um, yeah, so I'll try to get a review out for each of these um, as soon as possible. And other than that, hopefully you liked this video enough to like and subscribe. And other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!